Hello Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. I thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. If it's not your story, don't try to force it, guys. This is a collective reading, so may not resonate, may resonate. Let's see, let's tap in. What does Aries need to hear today? This is going to be like a twin flame reading. So if you're not in a connection, this may not help you. We have mindful, natural observation. Mindful, natural observation. This exercise is as simple as it is powerful. It is designed to connect us with the beauty of the natural environment. Choose a natural object, a flower, insect, tree, or anything really. Now relax and explore the object like you have never seen it before. Visually explore every aspect of it and connect with the object and its role in, in the natural world for as long as your concentration allows. Do this exercise twice daily. And one more to stop the reading. I'm hearing someone's vitamin D might be low. Maybe you need to get outside, get some sun. Maybe get that check, your iron. Um, the things that give us our energy. You could be depleted of energy right now, feeling a little low on energy. To be overworking too much blue light in your life you need some sunlight we have uh worrying is a negative prayer you don't need any of that kind of angsty nail biting bull today if you catch yourself worrying take a deep breath and ask the universe what you really want not what you don't want ask the universe for what you really want not what you don't want the universe always lets you change your order and hell yeah, you want fries with that? Supersize that S-H-I-T, okay? So look at this. Spirit, universe, however you identify with the higher power, the most high, the creator, source, whatever name you use, whatever your ideology is, we have to understand, and I notice this with people, again, why I don't subscribe to organized religion, because it, it puts you in a very victim, and I'm not trying to insult anyone. So if you are a person who is in an organized religion, this is not a slight to you. Because whatever works for you, works for you. But me personally, I just feel like I don't identify with it because it doesn't allow for you to be adaptable. It's very rigid, straight down the middle, and it doesn't leave room for error. And, you know, um, without condemnation associated with it. We can't just be human, fallible, and make mistakes and change our minds. And I reserve the right to change my mind. That's going to be your affirmation of the day. I reserve the right to change my mind. Because this is what I feel. Worrying, stressing, very overworked energy for you. Some of you could be bosses, run a business, or just have a very hectic schedule. But let's jump in because I'm rambling. So your energies are coming through as I'm blocked. I am blocked. Sex with you, will this pain ever stop is the challenge and will you leave me like the others? I don't know if that's you or your person, but the overall energy is I don't know where to start and neither do I. But <laughs> well, let's start with that one. What What is this I don't know where to start? What is that all about? For Aries and a love connection. A tower, wow. Your own energy, Scorpio energy, three of wands, your energy. So this is you. This is you feeling like this. Let's see. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a younger Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could be dealing with a Scorpio or another Aries here. So it looks like some of you, again, I feel like a very busy schedule. Some of you could be in school, could be working and in school, could be trying to accomplish some kind of goal right now. You have some type of financial opportunity. It may involve you moving away from someone that you love. Here with the three of wands, you're contemplating what the future is going to look like, some type of travel here, expanding your career, expanding your business, but something is ending. What's ending? Let's see what's ending. You don't know where to start because something is definitely ending, so there will be a new start. And then we have the emperor, your own energy. I told you some of y'all are bosses. Wow. Okay. I feel like some of you may be trying to decide how to maintain a relationship along with um, business, career, and that might be a challenge here because you may have to move. 
Here we have the Four of Cups, the Judgment, or I am blocked. Is a decision. And then we have the Eight of Wands, more travel for business. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Libra. And we have Cancer energy here. So it looks like someone could feel rejected by you. Um, and there's a decision that you're going to have to make to, to follow your higher calling here. For some of you, it may be to move away. I feel like you and this person are going to have a conversation about this. You may have already had it here. But yeah, you have a lot of excitement. Exciting opportunities at your um, discretion. You can choose what it is that you want to do moving forward. And you may be rejecting this person. Could be a cancer. Okay, what is the... Um, some of you can have a Libra Mercury here. What's sex with you as the challenge? I mean, not the challenge, but you don't see coming. It's the nine of pentacles in reverse. Wow. So it makes it feels like you make them an option. Six of swords and the three of cups. Yeah. Could be a cancer, could be an Aquarius, could be a Virgo. This person feels like you're gonna leave them behind. And you're gonna have a lot to celebrate here. You do have a lot to celebrate. Your your life is looking great as far as your finances go. Um, but there's someone here who's feeling like you're treating them they're kind of jealous they're kind of envious and jealous and i, and I don't want to say that in a negative way because i don't think this person is malicious but just out of hurt they're feeling left behind here um and they're feeling like you might be a bit materialistic you may be prioritizing money superficial rather um over them your career over them there's some sense of instability okay so will this pain ever stop is probably that person be a Leo, could be a Libra, could be a Scorpio. Someone is reminiscing, thinking about you, feeling very heartbroken here because they are feeling like they lost you. Could be a Libra, Scorpio. And then we have the strength card here, Leo energy. So I feel like this person is looking at you. They love you unconditionally. They're, they're compassionate. They want you to succeed, but they're hoping that they can tug at your heartstrings a bit <laughs> and get you to choose them because they're heartbroken thinking about losing you and missing you okay what is this will you leave look at this will you leave me like the rest they think you're leaving them we have the hermit virgo energy three of pentacles capricorn energy and the eight of swords See, they feel like they don't know what to do they have no power in the situation they feel trapped by these circumstances. They want to work with you. And they're also looking at you and thinking, you have a great opportunity here. Some of you are being recognized in your career. And this person is happy for you, but they're feeling like you're withdrawn. You're pulling away from them with this hermit energy. Okay, so let's get some advice. Because we're at eight minutes. Two pieces of advice for Aries. It's too many. One more, please. Okay, look at this, y'all. No need to worry. So this is going to work out. And then we have be assertive. Well, you are because you're coming through as the emperor. So you are definitely assertive. Um, maybe just let this person know there's nothing to worry about. They need that reassurance from you. Because you're not going to leave them behind. But you got some, boss, you're making boss moves. We have patience. Let go of desperation. Letting go of desperation is important now. Love will not pass you by and everything is in divine timing. This card also indicates a time of non-action and stillness in a relationship. Yeah, the hermit. This is what's coming. It's going to be a break. You're going to have some time apart from this person. But it's, it's not permanent. And you have to reassure them of that. Oh, this is so sad. Then we have all oh, time to say goodbye. The situation or relationship you're in is facing a dead end. It's time to move on and let go. All endings bring new beginnings. See, there is going to be an ending. I told you there's going to be a be time apart and a break. And you're probably going to have to move away. But I don't think it's forever. Let's see. Let's end the terrible. Is this going to be permanent? Because I don't think so. There's letting go of desperation. Everything in divine time. Is this going to be permanent? Or are they going to come back together with this person who loves them? Uh-oh. The moon. Okay, there's some uncertainty here. 
the five of pentacles oh my goodness are you leaving this person and the hierophant okay so could be dealing with the taurus could be dealing with the pisces or some of you could be on the pisces aries cusp or aries taurus cusp i feel like this is a brief time of uncertainty someone feels left out in the cold but you feel like this is your person they feel like you're their person you feel like you belong together i feel like you're going to once you get the structure because you got the Hierophant and the Emperor. Once you get the structure and you know that you've solidified your place and you're sitting on your throne, I feel like you come back for this person. It was on the bottom of the deck. Wow, look at that. The Lovers is at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this is your soulmate. Could be a Gemini. You're going to come back together with this person after separation. But there will be a separation. So those are your messages. Thank you for joining me, Aries. I will see you all tomorrow. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for me, please. Thanks. Peace.